in the symmetric group as n, the simplest kind of permutation you can think of is probably the transposition, a cycle of order 2, or the, or the form uh, ij, i is sent to j, and j is sent to i. So the next, so of course the transpositions are very useful for many uh, purposes when studying symmetric group. And so the next uh, simplest uh, permutations we can think of is probably cycles of order three, or three cycles. Now let's see two interesting and uh, useful properties of three cycles in Sn with respect to the alternating group An. I want to prove the following two statements. One, uh, An, so all uh, cycles of order three, or three cycles, are in fact even permutations, so are in the group An, this is the alternating group, which consists of uh, even permutations. In other words, permutations which are written as an even number of uh, transpositions. So the first statement is An is actually generated by, uh, by three cycles. Well, at least if there are any cycles any, anyways, so at least if n is uh, greater or equal than 3. And the second interesting fact is that for n at least 5, uh, any two three cycles are conjugated in an. Now here the statement is really that they are conjugated in uh, with elements of a n. Otherwise, it would be obvious since any uh, cycle of a given length is conjugated in S n. So this is for n at least uh, five because, for example, for n equals four, it's not uh, hard to show that uh, the cycle uh, one to three it's not conjugated to its inverse one through two. So let's proceed with the proof of the first part. Now here we, we observe that any three cycle, say i, j, k, of this form, can be written as the product of two transpositions, i, k, i, j. So this is a little trick. I let you verify it for yourself. It's immediate. So in particular, we see that any free cycle is an even permutation because it's written as the product of two transpositions. So in particular, uh, every free cycle is an element of AM, which is our starting point. Then, uh, so what do we have to show? To show, in order to prove that An is generated by these uh, three cycles, well, an element of An can always be written as a product of uh, transpositions, as any element of Sn. But moreover, we know that this, is, will, this will be an even number. Therefore, it will be a product uh, of pairs of transpositions. So it is enough to show that the product of two transposition is can be written as a product of three cycles and this will show that an the whole of an is generated by three cycles in other words we only have to show that tau 1 times tau 2 is a product of three cycles for any, for any pair of transpositions.
ถาวรเท่าตู้ now of course if t a w a n is equal uh, to t a w t o this is not an interesting case since the product is one so we can assume that t a w a n and t a w t o are distinct and we are left with two cases to analyze the first case is that t a w a n and t a w t o are not disjoint Joint. So, in other words, are precisely uh, two transposition of the form i k and i j, just like here, and therefore, just like in our trick, we see as above that uh, this uh, is written is a product of three cycles. Right? It's it's actually one. Three cycle. So the second case, in the second case, we have tau one and tau two disjoint. But can, but then, so what we want to prove is that say i uh, j and uh, say k m, where these i j k m are all different. Is can be written as a product of three cycles, but here we can uh, use our trick again, namely we write this as i j times the the transposition i k and its inverse k i. So this would be equal to identity, and then we have k m, and now we can again apply our trick. Uh, above, in other words, here the product of these two elements then will be equal to i k j, and this one can be written as k actually is equal to the three cycle k uh, m i again by our trick. So also in this case, the the product of our two um, transposition. Is uh, is written as a product of three cycles, so this finishes the proof of point one. Now let's proceed and prove part two. Namely, that for n at least five, uh, these all these three cycles are conjugated in a n. So of course three cycles. And um, are are always conjugated in S n. In other words, uh, say uh, the, the cycle i j k. Say I conjugate it with any element sigma. Any permutation. And these what 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 does this do? Uh, with sigma one, minus one, uh, we apply sigma minus one first. Then we move the cycles i, j, and k, and, that, and then we apply again sigma. So everything which is not uh, sigma of i, sigma of j, sigma of k, go, goes back to the original position. And in these three elements, we have precisely the cycle given by sigma i, sigma j. And sigma k. So let's call these numbers a, b, c. So of course this this trick uh, would work with uh, not only with three cycles but with uh, cycles of any length. In other words, this shows that any uh, any the, the set of R cycles with any length R are always conjugated. Inside S n, but what we what we want to show is that for three cycles, we can actually choose sigma in the alternating group. We want to show that we can choose 
sigma in a n. In other words, of course, it's possible that here in this expression, uh, our sigma will actually be a knob permutation, but uh, we can always replace it with, an, with another permutation, which is even, and for which the conjugation still works. So, in other words, of course, if sigma here is, uh, is even, so is in, in a n, we would be done. So we suppose that sigma as above is odd. In other words, is not in a n. And see what we can do. So let me rewrite this. We have sigma of i k k sigma minus 1 equal to the three cycle a b c. Well, I want to find another sigma which is even and uh, makes this, uh, this uh, conjugation still valid. So let's call it sigma 0 the permutation given by sigma times the cycle x y where I choose x y two numbers between 1 and n which are disjoint disjoint from our i j k so i am not equal to i nor j nor k and this means that the transposition x y will commute with the three cycle i j k so well let's check what happens if I do now sigma 0 times ijk times sigma 0 inverse? Well, then here this is equal to sigma times xy, and here this is equal to xy inverse, which is yx which is also just equal to xy times um, sigma minus 1. So this product is equal since xy and the 3 cycle here commute, since everything is disjoint here, we can eliminate xy and we are left with precisely sigma times by jk times sigma minus 1. So this is again our uh, three cycles in ABC. And this concludes the proof of the second part.